Windows Phone 8.1 device. Today our competitors have various voice assistance capabilities heavily biased towards the high-end devices. We are bringing that innovation to all of the different price points so that innovation is available to everyone, which I think is really good. It's going to be good for your applications. Now, for the really, really price-conscious consumer, someone who might have just bought into a Lumia 630, perhaps as their first smartphone, these devices are also great ways to get the benefits of the equivalent of an expensive fitness band or wearable device. What we are doing is introducing into these devices something new called Sensor Core. This is a very low power sensing capability that tracks motion and location. So now people can use their Lumia to keep track of their steps and calories burned using, as Karan is showing, the Bing Health and Fitness application. You can even have this working when the Lumia device is in your pocket or in your bag, it doesn't matter. This thing keeps track of your movements so that you can follow your improvements and your progress, built right into the device. Now, let's go back to the home screen. Final point I want to make about these devices is they are Lumia devices. So there's many things we've come to expect as part of that experience, including Nokia Mixed Radio, where you get at no additional cost the equivalent of your own personal radio station with more than 30 million songs, the cost of which is built into the device. You can save music offline, you can pin to the home screen your uh, favorite playlists and all of that to make it a truly personal experience. Similarly, you can use Hear Maps, you can download those maps, and again, in many of the markets in which we sell devices, the ability to download off of Wi-Fi a map and then not to be using um, over-the-air wireless charges to do that is fantastic. Um, here, Karan is pinned to the home screen, a particular location, the Terra Gallery, where we're hosting a media reception later today, so the, member, the uh, journalists here today can get first-hand experience with these new devices. So the Lumia 930, 630, 635, Karan, thank you very much for joining me on stage. Thank you. Now, all of these great experiences are packed inside these robust devices. The 630 and 635, for those of you keeping score, 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 quad-core processor at some amazing price points. So sensor core, pictures, videos, mixed radio, hear maps, all of that are just going to operate so well. So in short, the Lumia 630, the 635 deliver people an entry point to the Windows Phone experience with absolutely uncompromised performance. Now, these devices, the Lumia 630 and 635, will be the very first Lumia devices that are being sold with Windows Phone 8.1, and that will be in the month of May. We have received more operator support for the launch of these devices than any other Lumia device to date, and that's based on the, the growing number of applications, the success of the 520, and everything that we have going. So literally, hundreds of operators will be ranging the 630 and 635, We'll start the rollout in Asia, move through India, the Middle East, South America, and Europe, and we'll be here in the U.S. broadly with our partners starting in July. So you'll see this ripple around the world, and we expect to sell a lot of these devices. Pricing, the Lumia 630 3G single SIM will be priced around $159. If it's a dual SIM device, it'll be $169. And if it's the 635 4G version, it'll be $189, all before taxes and local subsidies. Here in the U.S., of course, the pricing is quite different based on the operators. But very, very aggressive price points for a device that is going to compete amazingly well with anything that's coming from the competition from a specification perspective. So some great new devices coming for you. Thank you. That's really good. Now, you have also seen a pattern from Nokia and obviously from Microsoft that as we build some of this great innovation, we want to make sure that you can build on it as well. So the great hardware, the great software that you see, we're also trying to continue to build new opportunities for developers. I want to say, first of all, a very heartfelt thank you. And that is thank you for adding 500 new applications to the Windows Phone store literally every day. So thank you very much on behalf of Nokia and Microsoft for doing that. But to take this even further, I'm also pleased to announce that we are bringing developers to all of you two new SDKs, a new imaging SDK and a new sensor core SDK. For imaging today, we are releasing a preview of our imaging SDK 1.2 which makes creating the next generation of imaging apps faster and easier. 
The final version will be available in just a few weeks. It includes things like image manipulation capabilities, filter effects, and on-screen rendering. As well, the new sensor core SDK is based on that sensor core technology we demonstrated with the health and fitness application. With the sensor core SDK, you'll be able to create motion-based applications that are location and context aware while using very, very little battery power. With these two new SDKs, our ambition is to help all of you give people some really unique experiences. So in summary, I'm pleased to introduce the new portfolio, or if I may say, the beginning of the new portfolio of Lumia devices built on Windows Phone 8.1. Today it's the 630, the 635, and the 930, but of course, the existing Windows Phone 8 devices from the 520 to the 1520, which will all soon be running Windows Phone 8.1. So yes, today is an exciting day for all of us, but I know that myself and all of my colleagues at Nokia are truly looking forward to when we can come together with our colleagues at Microsoft. We will continue to open up new opportunities for Microsoft, for our partners, for you, our developers, and most of all, for people around the globe. Thank you, and we look forward to sharing more with you in the very near future. Thank you very much.